Well, I think when I came here, I hoped I would work here for a very long time. Um, now it's been nearly 30 years and I look back and of course I wonder where has all that time gone? Well, I first went to China in September 1980 as a group of British undergraduate students. I wanted to spend more time in China, continue improving my Chinese. So that's how I came to, to work in the foreign languages press. It was a wonderful experience for me. I mostly just did translating and polishing of material that had already been translated by the people working there. So I started working here in August 1992. I was very fortunate that when I arrived, Dr. Needham was here. I remember as I walked in the door, like most people who walk in the door to this institute, I just went, wow, this place is really lovely and there's a really special atmosphere. And I very quickly realized when I look back at it now, there were three things that would be important for me in my job. The first was to treat everyone who came here in the same way. I think what I remember more is just the pleasure of sitting listening to their erudite talks here. The way people's you know, PhD students' eyes light up when you bring them a book that's just arrived and you know that it's really central to their work. And I've seen so many young scholars come here shy, anxious, and go away confident and ready to write their books and educate generations of other students. The second thing I realized was despite the fact there was a very great deal of work to do, I was studying China with a civilization stretching back thousands of years and Rome isn't built in a day. So what my job was to do was to carry on adding to the foundations of what one would hope would become an institute that would still be here in a hundred years. The third thing I gradually realized was it was very important that our small independent research institute here in the midst of Cambridge had a close relationship and adhered to many of the standards of the rest of the university. The world of libraries changes fast, so the institute will have to continue to pay close attention to what its position is, what its role is within those changing conditions. So that was another aspect that slowly dawned on me after I arrived here, was that Joseph Needham and those around him had an enormous network of connections and how important that was to his work. As the only full-time member of staff here, a lot of that responsibility was going to fall upon me. I have been back to China every year since then, which was 1995, except for the year 2008. What I would do is I would go to China, three main things, buy books. So I had lots of fun scouring the bookshops. I would go to conferences in order to network, find out what the latest research was. And I would visit institutions around China that carried out research on the history of science, technology and medicine. And initially those were relatively few. It's been extraordinary the developments in, in the history of science in China and the way it's expanded. We've had a grant from the Wellcome Trust in London to digitize and transcribe and catalogue a lot of the material relating to the visits by Dr. Joseph Needham and his wife, Dr. Dorothy Moyle Needham, to China from the Second World War. And what I'd very much love to do and hope to do in the future would be collaborate with scholars, particularly at the Chinese Academy of Sciences, and to see whether we could get permission to see the archives and get into the archives there, to look at how the Needham's visits to China were viewed from the Chinese perspective. I think the most important thing for a small institute like ours, next door to a very large institute, institution like Cambridge University, is to establish our, what the Chinese call Ding Wei, right, our position what it is we, we do that's special and different. Whilst Dr. Needham was here physically working on the Science and Civilization in China project with the collaborators, that was their Ding Wei, that was their function and their purpose. Over the past 20 years, we've developed more into 
serving as a, as a platform. We are a platform here for visiting scholars to come, conduct their research, engage with scholars from all sorts of other countries and around Cambridge in all sorts of other disciplines. Well, normally we'd have probably around 10, 10 to 12 visiting scholars here, many of whom would come from China. We also have visiting scholars, one fellowship that will allow us to bring scholars over from the States. And I think here that we have a, a mixture of those research traditions because that produces the, the most value. And I hope that we'll carry on being this extremely important non-political conduit, a conduit just based on a common respect and enjoyment of Chinese culture that everyone who comes here shares and that we can carry on being this, this conduit of contact between China and the UK that, that was such an important part of Dr Needham's life for many, many decades to come.